Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the cards for the 2nd of February 2017. Uh, today's cards, I like them. I like them much better than yesterday's. I'm really sorry about yesterday. Everybody got a telling off, but these ones are, I like them. I like what's coming through. Now, the first one that we have in the tarot card is the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune, this is a very... It's a very karmic card, this, and uh, it's always linked to destiny as well. Um, and it, it talks about, like, the constant cycle that we have in life, you know, and, and things change all the time, you know. And the thing is, we might, we might try and stop it or think that we are more powerful or whatever, but we're not more powerful than the universe, you know, and the universe always gets her way. So this card is saying... That if you are troubled at the moment, you know, you really need to stay strong in the face of adversity as well. You know, life does have ups and downs. This is what I was saying yesterday. And sometimes we need to go through these periods of troubles in order to recognize the happiness when we get it, when, when everything sort of falls into place. And without these troubles, we, you know, we might not recognize that. So this is what, this is why life is constantly changing. You know, we have ups, you know, when they're ups, we need to be grateful for them. And we need to know that they can slip away at the drop of a hat. When we have downs, we need to know that we are going to go back up again, you know, and we need to take what we can from those downs and learn the lessons that, the, the downs actually give us because often that is when we learn the best lessons you know so this is a card like I say it's cycles you know and cycles do change nothing can stay stagnant um so it it's sometimes a bit like a roller coaster ride you know and this what this is saying is that there's changes there's changes coming or you are experiencing changes as well so if you've been experiencing bad times don't worry you know there is a change of change of common there you know if we have a look at the card you know she's blindfolded so she can't see but you know she's got the wheel there so she can like steer the ship um and what often happens like i say she's blindfolded there but what often happens within when we are going through changes is change brings in the unknown it's something new it's something we haven't experienced before and this is what can cause the confusion and this is what can bring in fear but what we must need to what we need to remember is that change is a crucial part of evolution so this card today i feel it's saying like are you resisting this wheel are you resisting these changes you know are you stuck in a cycle that no longer serves you because this is saying that you can steer yourself into the direction of your choosing as well it's also saying that you can't just rely on luck you can't just sit and pray or you know put an affirmation out there or whatever and hope that that is going to uh, make everything okay you need to actually put action in as, as, as well here so it's saying you need to create a new landscape for you you know because this is like it's like an opportunity to upgrade. The universe is pushing you forward and it wants to shake you out of this, this stagnancy, this comfortable stagnancy that you have been in, you know? And if we think about when, when I pulled this card and I was thinking about it, they were, they were showing me, you know, if we go to replant a tree, that tree must be uprooted. So during that time from being in the soil to being carried to wherever it's going, it is uprooted, you know, it's nourishment, everything like that isn't there. So this is what is happening within life with a lot of us at the moment, you know, we are changing and we are feeling uprooted as well. And what we need to remember with this card is that if nothing changes, nothing changes and things you will, you will stay with what you have or what you... Are experiencing at the moment and, and that is not making you happy you know so what this is saying is you know you may not know where you're going if we have a look like I say she can't see but that doesn't mean that all is lost you know look think about somebody there they're showing me you know if somebody has like a surprise birthday party and they blindfold them and they walk them in the room and then suddenly they take the blindfold off and there's all this loveliness 
So, you know, that could be at the end of this change. You know, that could be at the end of this change. It doesn't have to be something that's fear-based and it doesn't have to be something that you fear. But whether <laughs> whether you like it or not, change is coming. That's it. And there's external forces at play here. Like I say, the universe is a lot more powerful and the universe linked with destiny and karma, you know, they get together and they make the changes that that are needed. Um, what I feel within this as well is we need to have a look at sort of, um, I don't know, having, having blind faith yet or having false hope. So this is it, you know, when we need to mix those two, we need to have hopes. Don't get set on a certain outcome. Don't get set on that. If you, if you're steering towards a certain outcome, it might not be, you know, the, the, the best for you. And don't just have, like I say, just blind faith where it's like, right, okay, the universe will take me there. What we need to do is we need to mix these. So we need to get our hopes of where we want to go and say, right, okay, that would be cool. Or I want something around that, that way. I want something that resembles that. And then you think, right, okay, I'm going to do what I can to get there. But I also, I also trust in the universe to help me there as well. So this is mixing, you know, mixing our hopes and dreams, uh, mixing where we want to go with a little bit of faith as well. And this is where I feel we will get more beneficial outcomes for it, because this card is telling you to keep optimistic. You know, even if you are um, even if you are having your faith tested at the moment, you know, this is saying you will need to take care of you during this this uh, phase of transition. So it's keeping keeping your head maybe while all of those around are losing theirs, it said, you know. So it's telling you keep your heart open, spread love wherever you can, you know. Don't allow fear to be your driving force because fear might navigate you in the right direct in the wrong direction, you know. Um let love be your guide here and let light show you the way. So uh, <coughs> I like that. Um Right, so this, this this is about, I'm not saying give up, I'm not, I, I, it's not that, it's um, be proactive, but don't be like a bull in a shine, china shop, just running headlong into something that, you know, that may not, not be what you want, you know, this is about, it's mixing your consciousness, everything's going all over today, uh, mixing your consciousness, you know, with your unconsciousness, mixing spirit with the 3D world as well, and having everything work together, you know, and also being the change that you want to see in this world as well, you know, if you get all stressed and angry and horrible and stuff like that when this change has happened, that's what you're projecting out to other people and other people might stay away. You know, they might not, they might not sort of help you or help guide your way. You know, they, they, they might not. So this is be the change, you know, and just don't get too head up with it. This is, this is what this card is saying. It's like the anxiety I'm feeling here because of the change is, 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 is really, really bad. But the thing is, we all, experience and changes nothing ever can stay the same and this card is it's number 10 so it's the end of a cycle but it's there's nothing to be scared of you know even if you meet a little bit of adversity on the way you will get through it so a little bit it's not as harsh as as, as yesterday's card I don't I don't feel um but it's like taking a gamble on life, you know, that this is it, it's, life is meant to be enjoyed, and life is meant to be, like, fear-free, you know, if you live your life in fear, you're not living, you're existing, so, like, roll with the punches here, you know, go with, go with the flow, whatever comes up against you, know that you will tackle it, because know that that wheel is keep on turning, so if something is standing, staring you in the face there, know that eventually it's going to go down when that wheel wheel turns, you know, so this is it, it's just about, I don't know, being, being logical and not getting caught up in the drama of it, I think, you know, 
Then we have the Osho card, and this one, I love this one, you know, this is a really, really nice card. And this is just talking about consciousness, which is what I've said. And consciousness means being aware. So this is being aware of your actions, being aware of your feelings, being aware of your reactions, you know, being aware of your surroundings and being aware of what is going on. Not trying to do anything to change them, but just being aware of them as well, you know. And if we have a look at this guy in here, it's, it's like Buddha, you know, and he's tackled his troubled mind, you know. Everything, our mind can play so many tricks on us. Our mind is like, you know, at times it, 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 it is crazy and our thoughts can send us, you know, on this like spiral in this path of, of complete, if we allow our thoughts, <laughs> if we our, allow our thoughts to guide us all of the time, you know, we can, uh, they can spiral out of control and when we, you know, we have these huge, huge dramas in our head that haven't even happened yet. So this is saying, you know, like, <sighs> quieten your mind, take control of your mind, you know, his third eye is switched on there as well, and, you know, it, it, look, there's a lot of stars amongst them there, and I'm just getting in there, when, when, when it rains, look for rainbows, when it's dark, look for stars, so that's it, and stars represent within tarot our hopes and dreams, so even if it's dark, don't give up on them, and if we think there's a lot of sort of indigenous tribes, isn't there, that actually still use stars to navigate their way there's a, there's a great film called um i think it's the way of the serpent and they're talking it's this guy goes in this indigenous tribe and um they want his watch and he won't give them his watch and uh, his friend is saying to him you know like you should have given them that they'd been very kind to you and he said yeah but if they have this watch they will then focus on that to tell the time rather than actually the stars so like i say this is this is i feel with this it's like don't don't even give your, um, yeah, sorry, just, oh, I'm getting in there, right, okay, don't allow these changes, don't put these changes in the hands of other people, neither, because that's what it's saying, because then you will lose your ability to navigate them, right, okay, so, so this is, like, Right, okay. Yeah, don't let other people make your choices for you. That's it. That, that That's what's coming in, you know. You need to actually sit with this and see where it is, where it is you are going here. And what you need to realise as well is that when these changes are coming in, what they are trying to do is free, your, free you from, like, sort of uh, limits that have been imposed on you as well, you know. So this is saying about clarity coming, you know. When we are, like... When we detach a little bit and when we take our roots in stillness, you know, because this is it, it's just quiet and, you know, quiet and time, whether this is meditation or whatever, taking that time to be quiet, taking that time in nature, letting the answers come rather than having this crazy, right, okay, everything's, you know, the sky's falling in, you know, just actually taking that time in, in stillness. That is when you'll realise that this is a gift and you will realise that there's these changes that you're experiencing are not really that scary. Because the Colette Baron record that's coming in with this as well, this is talking about indecision being rife at the moment and this is what I feel and this is what's frustrating you as well. The changes are coming whether you like them or not. You're running around like a headless chicken, you know, trying to see what do I, what do, I do, where do I go, whatever. You know, what you need to do is come down in this stillness you know, let all of the craziness happen around you. But if you are still within yourself, then you are conscious and you are aware of what is happening and you are not going to get caught up in all of this um, madness and you are not going to feel the fear and you are not going to feel the frustration as well. Because what this card, we have the fork in the road and it's in the protection position as well. And it's like, you know that you cannot stay where you are but you feel like you've lost your way. It's like, uh, <laughs> which way do I go, you know? And this, again, this card is saying, like, you know, people could be pointing, yeah, go that way, go that way. You know, like on Alice in Wonderland, when she falls down and there's all these crazy signs sending uh, all over the place. That's what I'm sort of getting with this. Um, and what this is saying is, yeah, like, w this way, that way, you know, which, which way? Um, but this is saying, don't allow other people to choose you know the way for you because what you're doing then is you're passing responsibility onto them 
And if you don't make a choice, then you are making a choice. You are, you are making the choice to say, right, okay, I'm going to stay where I am. I'm going to stay in this uncomfortableness as well. And you have to be accountable for that. So, you know, this is like, even if you've made a choice that has took you somewhere where it's uncomfortable or undesirable, then, you know, just detour back and, and, and start again. You know, that's it. It's, it's, people think that when they... Um, when they make a move, when they, when they make these changes, that that has got to be set in stone. You know, I mean, I'm I'm thinking about relocating somewhere, emigrating or something like that, but I don't know where. And, you know, the thing is, I know I can always come back. It's not, all right, okay, I've got to go there and then I can never venture back to England or the Northeast again. You know, it's not. It's just, right, okay, I can do that. I can see if it works, see if I like it, then come back. So it's not about making solid decisions, you know. That is it, because whatever solid decisions you make, they will change again, because change is inevitable, you know. So this is saying, if something doesn't work out the way you want it, try a different way, you know, that's it. If you drive down, if you're in a car and you drive down a road, and then suddenly the road is blocked, you, you back up and you go down a different route, you know, but you still get to your destination. So like I say, there's a lot of, a lot of fear, a lot of confusion, but I feel this is more internal yet. If you allow these changes to come, if you roll with them, and if you don't let fear in, you know, if you help the universe a little bit in where you want to go, then I feel everything is going gonna, is gonna to be fine. February is actually the month of changes, you know. If we have a look, if we have a look outside, Things are starting to change, you know. There's, you can start to see buds on the trees, you know. You little, maybe little like bits of crocuses coming up and stuff like that. And within probably about four weeks, springtime will be here, you know. And what happens in springtime? Everything becomes a bit more colourful and everything starts to bloom, you know. And we start to feel relaxed because we're not cold, you know. The sun's coming out on the morning. So, you know, this is it. This is changes, you know. We cannot stay in... A long dark winter forever in the same way we cannot stay in you know the long hot summer so it's it's this is it you know without change uh, we would not have evolution and we would not have moved on so like I say allow this change embrace this change and just go with it um so yeah that's that's the end of the message I hope you like that card um it's 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 I liked it. I, yeah, yeah, I did. I liked it. I'm getting a nice feeling with those cards. You know, once you, I just, once you get through this stuckness, I think that is, um, that is, you know, most of the battle, to be honest. You know, that is the most of the battle. Sorting your mind out too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm knocking everything, um, everything off, off today. So yeah, sorting your um, mind out within this and, you know, not letting your mind run run ragged because, you know, when you do that, when you lose your mind, then, you know, it, it, it's hard to get to get that back and to get focused. Okay, so um, yeah, really, really nice card. I, I just want to say that there's protection coming in as well. They're telling me that there's protection coming in there you are protected you are divinely protected just take sort of a bird's eye view of stuff you know if you are if you are going through craziness or something at the moment try and detach yourself and like look at it from a bird's eye point of view and look at the full situation you know and see how things things are because when you're in it when you're stuck in the chaos that's often the hardest you know when you look at it from an outsider that is that is when we can see things how they really are and then they're not as scary okay if anybody would like a reading with me please get in touch either via my facebook page or my website the links are below with that uh, again massive thanks to the new subscribers and for everybody watching I, I can't believe how many views um my videos have had in the last week it's really really bizarre uh but thank you and uh, it's it's i am deeply grateful for it um and above all have a have a fabulous day today don't let don't let the head mess um, get to you. Don't let it spoil your day, you know. if you Just practice stillness just for today and see how much better you feel, okay? I'll see you tomorrow with the cards of today. Satnam.